is manufacturing Indian engineers, uh, private company Rocket and Phenol. So all of these companies are in demand of this software and our job is to provide them uh, support regarding the software. So uh, this is the, uh, uh, also we can deal with it. So CST, I can, and other software also we deal with it. So let's start with computer simulation technology. CST is a simulation tool. And uh, this is provided by Dassault system, France. And Jyoti Electronics is the sole distributor of CST Microwave Studio. Okay, it is founded in 1992 and these all things are known. Well, it is having various tools, which includes CST Design Studio, CST Microwave Studio, CST EM Studio, CST Particle Studio, MPGS, Cable Studio, and CST PC Studio. These are the official CST representatives. So here we are. So CST product is a combination of a one flagship product, which is CST Microwave Studio. Along with it, there are other tools are available, CST Cable Studio, CST PCB Studio, and MicroStrip. And if you are having these two things and these two models are with you, then you can combine these two models, any n number of models in CST Design Studio. Okay, which, which is a CST simulator around coupling of 3D models. So you can have one model, two models, and then you can have connection between them, and then you can simulate it. Other than this, we are having the CST Particle Studio and PGK EM Studio. This is the main window of CST Micro Studio, which you are familiar with. Now it is having a toolbox. So it is set up simulation. This is very important. This is meshing. Okay, so your accuracy depends on meshing as well as time consumption. So choose this mesh according to your accuracy as well as your hardware. So because if you choose this mesh to be very, very big, the mesh size here will be very, very big and it may, it may take lots of time. So I know uh, as far as my knowledge is concerned, you are having a personal computer, maybe you're in HPC, but uh, as DRDO and all other, this big, big institute or research institute, all of them is in HPC. So they can design very, very big model and simulate over high, high accuracy. Then other than this is having property and history list is very, very important. So you need to check history list every time when you face a problem, okay, fine. And there are macros. So macro is very good tool, which will help you in getting your design ready by already design uh, by using Python language. So a macro is a, if you know the Python language very well, then you can code your entire design in macro and clicking if you want to save, let us suppose a model, it's very bizarre and it's not available in this uh, CST modeling tool. So you need to put it in macros and then you can have it within no time. Okay. Other than this, there is navigation window, which is having component group. So group is very important. If you wish, let us go there. Is, you think that I don't want it to simulate this part of structure. So you need to pick it, the structure, and in the group, there is exclude from the simulation. So you can exclude from the simulation, and then you can have the simulation of other parts. So this is very good. But then material also. So these all things are there. Okay, then the parameter list. So I must recommend that you should choose the parameter because this is very, very helpful. When you're optimizing a parameter sweep operation, if you are not choosing any parameter list, then you can't perform optimization and parameter sweep operation. Okay. Then there is a progress window, which is telling you progress, how much is the progress, and there is message window if you're in a, any error message or warning message, is there, then this whole thing will be visible. And there is a, finally the drawing window. Okay, so I must tell you, CST is a, one of the best tools which is having user, which is very, very user friendly. And uh, other software also there, but they are not as user friendly as this software, according to the industry as well as different different institute uh, feedback. So let's go to this project template. Okay, so this is a wheel type arrangement in which uh, the first with the microwave and RF and optics is there. So you are working on optics, so you need to go with this thing. An antenna design and then choosing go to macros. Yeah, well, graphene is not available in this. Uh, 
it is uh, i think material material window so it's available in macro so you need to import from the macro okay yes so other than this there's the eda electronics available emc mi are also available so if you are interested in emc mi uh, the iit kanpur is having some what you say the emc mc emc mi related uh, uh growth project is there so they are very very using the cmi mc related issue and is true and uh, uh, sac people are very very interested in emi mc part of this software other than this there is charged particle dynamics so here is you will you are provided with a physics okay how the electron move in some magnetic field you know that electron tends to bend itself and in the in the rotation so it, it will rotate so there is centripetal force in, in if you are applying magnetic field and there is a linear acceleration or deceleration if you are applying electric field okay so all of this field all of this phenomena can be done in charged particle time. so this is very very useful in bkrc and static and low frequency ranging from 0 hertz to 50 hertz and 300 hertz well you, you can design uh, the tr transformer and uh, you know actuator all of this thing in this static and low frequency so there are lots of research work going on in this static and low frequency so if your professor agree with this thing okay fine you need to do this Oh, this is very very good and very very best thing if and if electrical department is there well they are very very much in interest in this setting a low frequency okay so this is a wagon wheel type of arrangement so once you click it and then this window will be appear so why it's required you need to understand is that uh, choosing the right solver and uh, mesh size is very important in this cst it can if you choose the right thing, the simulation can be done within five to ten minutes. If you choose it wrongly, it can take a days. Okay, so choosing the right solver as well as mesh size is very, very important. So to solve this problem, this arrangement is provided. Other than this arrangement, there are a few uh, available is there like the complexity and character transition. Uh, this is template is available. So you can, if you wish, okay, I am not interested in this thing, so you can take over this thing and you can have. Window. So this is an example shown. Circuit component is there. Then if you go in circuit component or antenna, is antenna. This thing is provided. So you need to choose according to your interest. A wave meter is available. Radar cost reduction. If you have multi radar, monostatic, biostatic, time driven radar, RCS of material features, so you pick it. This is bio model. This is optics. So you are interested in optics. Optical frequency is a plasmodic and metallic structure and dielectric structure. So you need to pick it. Okay. Then the periodic structure. Then this is very important. Why periodic structure is used? That is why you are having a very, very big structure, but it's periodic. So you need to have this unit cell. And then you should simulate it. And once the simulation is done, it means that you have all you have simulated entire structure from infinite in X to infinite in Y, minus infinite to plus infinite. So that's the best part of the periodic structure. So well, you know, I'm going to uh, yesterday or no, sorry, tomorrow day or tomorrow. I'm having a meeting with the you know the SAC and they are supposed to be having an aqua chamber. So the periodic structure is very, very useful. Okay? So as to simulate entire anaphic chamber. Okay. And this is high voltage provided. This is for charge particle, and this is EMIMC, and this one is in EDN electronics. So you can have PCB package, all of this thing. So uh, I'm, so companies require this thing because this thing is in high demand. So how to start the CST software? Once you have the software, so you may start. Okay, I don't know anything. So the two one of two beautiful thing are provided in CST, and that one is component library. So once you click over it, the example file will be available. You can download this example file. So this is provided. Here in CST, so you need to download this CST. This all thing are provided in CST. Once you download, and then you can import it directly to the CST, and then you can analyze it, and you can you can come to know that what are what are the different different parameters. So these are all are the solved example in CST Microwave Studio. Other than this, the document attached, which is in PDF form, PowerPoint, Word document are available, as well as one video file also available. So you need not to worry about CST. Once you are having the CST, then 
we should reach you should from start to moderate within no time with it may it might take not more than 20 days to reach to moderate level if you're using this help menu of component library so these all are so provided in the structure so the micro stick coupler and filter resonator also there so you might be knowing all of these things this is an example of antenna is shown so Right here is 44 component. Right now it has increased to 300, about 300 components. Okay. So you need to type it in the name and then and the and the component will be available. The mostly it's it's having the general component. So you may can you may come to know what's the property of this component and you will become a moderate level. Even some extent, if you are a very, very clever person, then you can become expert in this by only reading these already designed model in cst micro is true okay so you should not worry about it mm -hmm. there is all antenna also there this optical calculation the wave filter is photonic band gap material is there there's durad metal optical scattering there four-way mixture is there polarized filter is there the wave device devices also there so you may came to know all of these things this Integral equation solver example also there, so you can do something within no time. Okay, pick solver also there. So particle cell, it required magnetron, traveling wave tube, and transformer, gap filter, optical cavity, coaxial granite, these all things are provided in the help menu of this. Thank you. So this is very, very useful, and you may become very, very familiar too. So let's start with CST simulation. The first part of the sim simulation is CST Microwave Studio, which is a fast and accurate 3D EM simulation for high frequency problem. So it includes all of these things. Then other than this, we are having CST EM Studio, which is generally preferred for low frequency, static to low. So you can simulate coaxial, port magnet, linear actuator, radial magnet, RG45 connector, stroke magnet, High voltage insulator, these all things in EM Studio. Particle Studio is fast and accuracy analysis of charged particle dynamic in 3D electromagnetic field. It is suitable for designing a magnetron, turning electron tube of modeling particle frequency and acceleration component. So you can design these all things. This is M physics. So after you design, designing is completed, you are interested. Okay, fine, I have provided the power, but there might be some issues regarding thermal analysis. So in space, SAC, ISRO, or ISRO, the thermal analysis has been performed. So you should also perform the thermal analysis. Hmm. I think the net connection is weak from his, his side. Hello, Rahul, sir.
स्टूडियो कुछ हो रहा है पता ही नहीं चला था ही इज ज्वाइनिंग sorry for the interrupting students and participants uh, rahul sir is uh, getting connected uh, in a while
Hello, Rahul, sir. Oh, yeah. I, 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 will, I will make sure that you will are able to understand it. Yes, sir. Is it my screen visible? Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay, fine. I, I will complete this whole thing within no time. Okay. Thank you, sir. So I have this thing completed. So CST simulation product is my is my is my um, I'm audible, na? Yes, sir. You are audible. The screen is also visible properly. Okay, fine. Okay, so CST simulation product is uh, well. I have as I have discussed already. When you are having two to three different different model design already, so you can connect them and you can provide the port and then you can simulate it. So here also here pin micro strip filter design is there or micro strip phase bridge is there and then balance amplifier so these all model are provided in cst microwave, microwave studio component library so you can access it from there okay this pcb design where you can have signal and power integrity and simulation as far as emi em related effect is there so you need to choose one net. So you have, let us suppose you have chosen this net. You have provided one port here, another port here, and you are simulating it and you are having four to five, six probe. And then you will be able to understand that if this power is provided, providing to this net and uh, the either it's in digital as well, this is digital. So you need to provide power in digital with the same frequency. And then you can have an analysis that uh, what are the electric field because of this thing, this net, because the net at gigahertz and reaching to millimeter wave, this net will become an antenna. So you can and have understanding of uh, how this, this uh, net will behave at gigahertz or at, uh, at uh, reaching to frequency in millimeter wave. So millimeter wave, this is a quite, an issue as far as EMI EMC is concerned. So whenever you are having a EMI EMC, uh, the millimeter wave circuit design, you must do e e e ECB studio as far as EMI EMC is concerned. Another project which we are having is CST cable studio. So, well, this is a very good tool once you are having a long cable. So the model is there and uh, well, this is cable can run up to 50 meter, 100 meter. So, you need to simply provide this the 50 meters the length of my this coaxial cable so all model will be inclu uh, included in, and you need not to focus that okay this is 50 meter long so i have to design it 50 meter you need to simply provide and this all thing will be taken care of by this sort so this is very very useful tool for emi emc effect of the cable including single wire twisted pair as well as complex cable harness so here you can clearly see this structure so this is built-in mechanism is there. So this all thing are provided. So if you are interested in cable studio, CST studio, studio, you can click over this book, PCB, particle, and phase. So these all are provided in CST. This is the backbone of our CST tool. So help menus always be there. So whenever you will require any help, you should, you should it will be provided. Okay, so tutorial also there. So you can click over it and then and finally, I must tell you the help menu is there in each and every uh, um, dialog box, so you can use it. So my, going back to material, the basic material is there, the new material parameter. So material type, it can be a PEC, which sigma tends to infinity. So metallic is a perfect conductor. So it will reflect all EM wave with a minimum in depth. And other than this, there is normal, which is generally material model with uh, with having like air material, having anisotropic, which depend on whose property epsilon r may ever depend on spectral di direction. The lossy metal metal is also there, whose sigma is not equal to infinity. Then corrugated wall is there, so you can design these all thing in material parameter, and then you can have it. So you let me give an example. Like to suppose you wanted to use it thin panel, so you are having a circular type of, let us suppose a metallic, and you should choose a thin panel, and then you will choose, okay, fine, let us suppose I'm having a thin sheet, very, very fine sheet of, let the PTFE or then Teflon. So you can use this property. This is very, very useful, uh, you, and it will save lots of your time. Okay, so this is very, very good thing which is provided for to solve material and load from material library. So this material library also there, 
which will be provided, which is having a hundred or uh, above material material is this, and this all thing will be reflected in material folder in navigation window. So you must choose, and you are well, you are using it. So now let us go to CAD import and parameterization is optional. So you can know this all thing. Well, this is a human body. This is a 3D native format of anything. So you can import this all thing in CST Studio Suite, which is import and export menu is there. From where you can either import it or you can export it. Okay, so you should go to new import and you need to choose the Vox model. So you all Vox model may human body related issue. So these all are also provided. So you can choose it and you can import it. So this is a very, very powerful tool, okay? In material setting also, you can update the property and so you can change the property of material, okay? So this is very, very useful. Now let's go to the CST microstudio solver setting. Now this is very, very important. A server different for technique and user-friendly design environment is there. So you must pay attention to the solver. Number one is time domain solver. This is transmission line matrix. So what is transmission line matrix? That this solver will choose as a transmission line and as a matrix. So you know that uh, the you can fabricate uh, the, let me give an example of it is uh, absorber, a multi-layer absorber is there. Either you should go with this type of solver or you can choose transmission line matrix. So your absorber sheet or a three-layer absorber is there. This all absorber will be taken in this transmission line matrix as an impedance and then it will calculate the reflection from uh, reflectivity by using impedance. So this is a, this is not the advanced method, but this will solve your meshing problem. Okay, because in time domain, if you are having a big, big structure, so this will create lots of mesh. If you're using TLM, so this will be having the mesh density is high at the edges. Okay, so this will reduce your mesh size. So you are having, let us say, one box is here and another box is here. If you are using this kind, the entire box will be uh, mesh at the uh, with the same density. But if you need TLM, the inside this box it will be having very less mesh, but at the edge it will be having greater mesh. So this is the transmission line matter because it knows that okay, fine, this is the junction. So uh, to know the property of this junction, okay. It's very, very important. So this is the best part of TLM solver. Other than this, we are in F solver, which is frequency domain solver, which is using FEM, this is FIT, this is FEM. Other than this, we are in IGN mode solver, then multi-layer solver, integral equation, asymptotic solver. I will go through these all things at one by one. So asymptotic is used for very, very large structure where you are interested in calculating RCs and power fields. So one great example is uh, a fighter aircraft is there and you wanted to know that, okay, fine, this uh, radar beam is falling over it and what is the reflection in monostatic and biostatic mode. So the best thing is you should go with asymptotic because the structure size is very, very big and it work on ray bouncing technique. So the ray will fall and the reflection wave will be captured. The important point you should note that the dielectric property of the, if we, if the dielectric is moving, it may not consider it. Okay, so that's the drawback of it. Other, other than this, this is a very good tool. Then we are having electrically large structure called integral equation, or I must tell you it's a method of moment based system. So method of moment based system work very great with the metallic structure. So whenever you are designing an antenna or anything which is dominated by metal, so I must tell you the integral equation is very, very good. And it can do, it can find the solution within no time. Other than the character mode analysis is there, which is very, very powerful and scattering parameter metrics also. Is. Other than this, if you know that there, your structure is enclosed and with the letters, let me give you an example of cavity, or you might be knowing about the the bench where you know you are having a rotatory type of arrangement where you, you are told to know the frequency of uh, operation of what frequency is there so you need to rotate it that's a cavity okay so when cavity's frequency matches with the natural with the coming frequency it will produce a uh, it will produce a standing beam okay so a certain dip will be there so that cavity can be simulated in I, I mode. Okay, so 
uh, which is having the q factor to be very very high okay so wherever you find anything as uh, opposed to telling okay its q factor is very high so you must go with ideal ideal mode because this will solve your solve problem within no time okay it use hexahedral and tetrahedral mesh both so that's the best part of it other than this very mp uh, the what is multi layer so it is used for multi layer multi layer structure characteristic mode analysis is there and it's based on method of movement okay so the unique property of it is that what the electric size material model resonant behavior type of mesh and the boundary and architecture of the workstation okay so these all thing will be taken care here that there are two type of basically design solver which we are having for general purpose solver general purpose solver is used for each and every model okay this depend on transient type which is generally prefer for electrical medium to large what is electrical medium the electrical medium means lambda should be equal to 10 so if you are designing and you know that this design is there and at center frequency the lambda is equal to 10 or 100 and you think between you must go with transient broadband analysis you must go with transient and orbit is time signal digital signal lightning pulse continuous signal and anything you must go with transient if you know that your design is much less than at center frequency than 10 lambda then you must go with the frequency drop it is narrow band single frequency electrical small and one of the greatest advantage of frequency domain is the periodic structure unique or uh, unit cell structure you can simulate in using frequency domain okay or let us suppose if you are having a structure with with let us put 10 and 20 different port so tan transient time will simulate one port two port three port well this is very very time consuming instead you should go with frequency domain okay other than this as we have already discussed strong resonant eigen mode electrically large integral equation asymptotic and multi layer solver as we have discussed layered background material so these all thing are required you can choose it according to your interests okay so this this all thing are provided so oh, i hope that uh, this all thing is, is available in this video lecture we have video cap you can capture it okay so optical coupler transient or optical wave guide transient so come conformal antenna transient general purpose frequency domain these all are provided and you should know these all things so that your time required to simulate is very 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 less so we are, i have prepared lots of example now coming back to mesh type okay so you are done with the frequency domain analysis and then you are thinking about okay find what's going on in at the background is it come to mesh type there are three type of mesh which is number one hexahedral mesh its shape is hexahedral which is preferred by time domain analysis then there is tetrahedral mesh is there the why this hexahedral tetrahedral mesh is there the main reason behind it that it must cover your entire structure okay so these all mesh are predefined so if you are choosing let us suppose a cylindrical structure and at the cylindrical edge it may not be uh, the meshing may not be accurate in cylindrical it will be having some hexahedral structure or tetrahedral mesh okay so understand it why it's because because this all thing will help you in simulation because Well, you know that when the meshing is there, so your entire structure will be defined, uh, disintegrated into tetrahedral and hexahedral, and the like the beam will be passed. So each hexahedral and tetrahedral structure it will be simulating, and then the result will be there. Okay, so this all thing is required. So frequency domain prefer tetrahedral mesh as well as eigen mode also. Other than this, the surface meshing also. So you might note that as integral equation as we have already discussed. the surface mesh is used because uh, well it's a metallic structure integral equation generally with metallic structure so metal is there so electromagnetic beam will not pass other than skin depth so the meshing is been done at the outer layer 
Okay, that's why integral equation method is preferred in eigen mode. Oh, sorry, this integral equation mode. So that's the best part. So you should choose your meshing, uh, the solver, and then this meshing will be generator. So, well, in this part, maybe you are having different material inside it. That thing will not be mesh. Okay, so you should keep in mind. Now, the if you have done with this all thing, now definition of port is there. So this is very very important the two definition are the discrete port and wave wave other than these two there are other port like plane wave port is there uh, plane wave is there which is circular right hand circular left hand circular so linear polarized and uh, vertically polarized other than this there are, are discrete port and wave wide port so the knowledge of t and wave line impedance is required in discrete port so you must provide the impedance value well you don't need to provide the impedance value in wave by port so area of eigen mode solution is required and e and h field pattern is required so you can have this understanding let us suppose this is a coaxial cable and this is center conductor is there outer conductor is there and the electric field is radially outward okay so you must choose the wave by port other than this if you think that okay i may not be having this type of arrangement and i don't know the impedance value, or I know the impedance value, so you must choose the discrete port. The difference between main difference between these two is the cutoff frequency is zero hertz, but there is cutoff frequency required, but this will prefer high accuracy of S parameter. Okay. Then the field source is very important: plane wave, far field source, and near field source. Okay, so discrete port is like this well you have s parameter port the current port and voltage port so you should provide it like this this one this three are the arrangement coke line waveguide strip line micro strip and wire and at the edge if you are having so you must connect you must pick one and two point and then connect it so this location will be set automatically you must provide the impedance generate prefer to be have 50 ohm you can choose it to your interested frequency you are in for taking code for S parameter, voltage and current. So these all things depend on you, okay? So here is discrete board face type is the board definition. So this is the example of waveguide board, okay? So waveguide board is, you can define by first clicking the face of this uh, transmission line and then waveguide board, Okay, so this definition very, very important. You should know K called K dot H, K H, and the K range between 5 to 10. Or you can go to macros. From there, you can have this port called this uh, port, go to port, and then this whole thing will be done automatically. Okay, so this is the port, calculate port extension coefficient. So this will calculate and then consider the port at the pick phase. So this whole thing will be done automatically. Now, the boundary condition is very, very important. Okay, so there are six type of boundary surface available in your structure. So I, I should choose it. So boundary condition will be electrical Tt equal to zero mesh trans the tangential component electric field is zero, same with tangential component magnetic field zero. The open open means whatever wave it will encounter, it will be absorbed. Okay, open with added space is required when you are having a let us have an antenna design. So you are interested in calculating far field. So you can't calculate far field in the near field domain. So you must have added space. So added space will be taken as lambda by four at the center of frequency, but you can choose it in this CST software. Other than this, there is periodic structure, then unit cell structure is there, then you are having conducting wall structure also there. You should choose it wisely. Okay. So these all are the properties, no electric field component tangential to the boundary surface, no magnetic field component tangential to the boundary condition. In conducting wall, electric conduction wall with finite conductivity is there. So you can define segment per meter and there is periodic on unit cell for infinite periodic structure. So you can design frequency electric surface using the periodic unit cell structure. So you must define is using this. And other than this, if you know that yours design is having certain symmetry so as to reduce the time of conception time it will take to simulate it you should go with symmetric plane and you should choose yz plane you have again magnetic 
X jet plane in electric or vice versa, according to you, and X and Y plane is none because you're firing from X, Y direction. Okay, so you should, if, if you know that your design is having certain symmetry from the port you have assigned, let me give an example. Uh, you are simulating a coaxial cable. So coaxial cable from the port side, if you look, it's having symmetry. So best part is you should go with symmetric plane and then your structure will be simulated and then it will take very, very, very less time. Okay, so time in, in this CST or any other software, time is very, very important as well as hardware resources are very, very important. So you should choose it. Now we have come to result handling as you know, that one day result is there, which is standard result and this will be calculated at each you, you cannot modify it or you think, okay, I want balance type, not energy type, you can't do it. The one day result will always be there, but these are not typically not resource intensive. Then there are two second one is some result monitor. Yes, you can change this result monitor by going a simulation setting and then you can have either probe, you can have the voltage monitor, current monitor, field monitor, like this, or you can do it. Now, if you have calculated these two things and you further wanted to refine it, you can you can go to a result template-based post-processing. So these two are the template, and you should keep in mind that if you are calculating anything, you should know that the primary result should be available. And primary result are standard result and or you can have a result monitor. So, so you, if you are choosing, let us suppose the query, the meta material analysis, and you are interested in calculating epsilon or mu value of it, so you can easily find out okay, over this frequency, my metal this structure behaving like a DNG or single NG going to magnetic to the electrical. So this all thing is very, very important. It's it required to calculate the first 1D result and 2D result in advance. Then and then only you can, the your template-based post-processing can simulate it. Otherwise, it will give you error message. So these all are available. One deep plot option is there. So you can have a linear, is there. You can write it, curve marker is there, linear periodic scaling is there, logarithm period is there. So these all are available. Okay, so all you can see that we see the graph, one D in here shown DB, so you can have in DB, you can see it, see it a Y Smith chart, Z Smith chart, polar, real, imaginary, or both of them. So these all are available. So this here I'm showing Smith chart, polar plot, Smith chart, and admittance. In the 3D model, the electric field are available. So you can see electric field. Now this electric field is a vector plot, as well it will be shown, carpet plot, field view of certain object or far field option also there, so you can have it. And this is here is shown dB one volt electric field of any structure. So here X, Y, Z and EBS is there. So you can have what is this electric field in X direction, Y direction, Z direction, absolute well. Now come to template based post processing. So this is very, very important. As I have already told you should or before template based processing, you should have the first 1D and 2D real, which is required by your template. Otherwise, this will provide give you an error message. So you should go to general settings, select temple group. So either S parameter, antenna parameter, the add processing step is also there. So you should add it like here S111, gain I triple A 500, H field F equal to 11 F X. So this all things are there. And you, you must click on evaluate all, and then this all thing will be evaluated. Okay. So, so common use template are these all plot. So parameter S parameter, time signal, TDR to calculate TDR, general 1D, 0D, 1D. So these all are commonly used template. How to set up and run a template is provided in here. You should press the control P. So automatically window will be available. Select a template, go select a template dialog box and then you must go and click on evaluate this all thing will be evaluated okay or well you can write your own template if you are interested in it you should know visual basic by using vba or python language so these all things are provided so you should go to result import export and then this all thing is provided and then you can write it over it okay and the result will be shown here. 
So let's go to parameter sweep op operation. So you should, as we have already discussed, you must choose the parameter or parameter. Okay, so you should choose the parameter view and then you can, in the parameter sweep operation, it's there once you are clicking over the solver setting and you must give in here the L, all of this parameter available and then from here to here number of step and then only that if you have chosen the L, length, only length will be set. So in your general paper and the conference paper, all of this thing, you must do parameter flip. And then you should convince them, okay, fine, if the directed value is changing, what will happen to my structure, L value and P value and all of this thing value is changing. If let's like, suppose angle of, angle is also changing, what happened to my structure? So this thing very, very important, very, very useful for giving you, you know, uh, to understand this problem. Okay. Running parameter sweep, you should click and then you should check and then you should run it. So the parameter sweep will be there. Now let's go to optimization overview. Well, this has been one of the topic of my discussion. Setter optimization, monitor provision, conversion time. So available in time domain, given frequency domain, all of this thing. So you should click on optimize. Okay. So optimization is very, very useful tools. Let us suppose in this example, we don't know where this post is. This post is at some XYZ location and you got this result and you know that, okay, I can further refine my design to get this result. So let us suppose I have provided minus 20 dB should be below minus 20 dB should be my S11. And I have put the parameter X and Y of this post in this to optimize it. So my optimization will run on either genetic optimization or particle swing optimization. These two are called global optimization. So what is the global means that uh, it will tell you that, okay, fine. Uh, you don't know where is, where is to put this post. So this post will be put at very, 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 very greater distance. And then it will choose which will give you the best result and then simultaneously the the coverage area will be reduced further, 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 and it will give you the best position. Or you can choose the other algorithm, which is called local optimization, which, okay, fine, it will say that, it will understand that, okay, fine, you are happy with this result, but you want best real. So the, it will, and another rotation or another time, it will post the post, it will put the post just nearby it. Okay, so you should understand what the difference is global optimization, local optimization. Okay, it's very, very important. So here is multi objective optimization space there. So here the x1 value is put minus 10 to plus 10. Okay, initial value is at 4, 4, current value 4, and best value 4, and y1 it has put to minus 10 to plus 10. So these two values will put. So optimization will run between this 10 to plus 10, minus 10 to plus 10, it will form a matrix and then it will start putting this. You're calculating the result. And then goal function has been defined. So here is the goal value available. So goal value should choose the new sir, goal. Sir, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, this may you, what is the meaning of the best value? Best value. What? Last here? One, last one. Yes, yes, it's best yeah. value four and current ten is initial value. What are the values? No, this thing will be when you are starting. So in this starting, the best value is the initial guess. Okay. okay, okay. So once you will be give you are the simulation is there and the certain point so, is there which is better than the best value. So the best value will be changed. So, so the optimization can be done for the entire band means it, it can, can be, be done for the entire band or it can be done on your choose you should for, choose the band yes. yes yes so how 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 we can choose the particular band to optimize yeah the range is there so you, if you choose the total range so the total range of your simulation when in your in your frequency range will be picked. So let us suppose if we are simulating it from lower frequency F min to F min, let's say one to eight gigahertz, so entire band will be chosen. Or you should choose the range, let us two to four gigahertz, or a single frequency, let us 2.4 gigahertz. So you can choose it according to you. 
Okay, sir. Or you so should have this. Yes, sir. Please, sir. So, so in this uh, range, range uh, in the range part, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah this part, is the range. You can choose the single uh, or range. Yes, yes, yes. In the range part, na? Ha, in the range part, you can choose. Okay. okay. And yes, if sir. you are having a multiple, let us suppose you wanted to have a two band. Let us suppose you wanted yes, to. Yes, get, yes, yes. Okay. Let us suppose mm -hmm. you are having a one frequency range. You should choose a two to four gigahertz, and then yes. another you choose six to eight gigahertz. So you should go and again put an another uh, multi-objective function, and then you can have this arrangement. Okay, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So you okay. have this one AC result as one one second time also, and then provide this another range. Okay. So how we can set the multi-objective operation? Multi-objective. The multi-objective is there when you are interested in S one one, S two one, S one two, S three like that. So you should having multiple things that you wanted to optimize over this four or five parameter, and then you should choose it. So once you choose it the, as the result name one two three four five six seven is there and then this all thing will be there and then in value you should provide it that okay this is my first priority second priority third priority or all of them is given same priority you should provide it yeah. yes yes so we cannot do the multi band multi band multi frequency range we can do only uh, simple frequency range and uh, uh we choose the multi parameter me as 11 as 21 ha ha yes 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 so can't we choose the dimensions it means I, if i want a uh, lesser thickness uh, structure can we choose the a uh, dimension yes sir you can choose that it should uh, that it should be less than uh, 2 mm or something like that yes sir but that thing should be defined in parameter list okay sir this all thing can be done using parameter Okay, so you should first uh, so in the starting. I I told you that you should go with the parameter list, and that's the best thing. So when you this match time to this time, you can have a two to four here, and uh, then you can sort. Okay, sir. So the parameter will be available here. You should put only cross. Okay, and you should go go over reset min max at ten percent or twenty percent, thirty percent of your interest. You can actually do it here. Also, this is also very simple, very easy. Okay, so or you can choose it from temple-based post-processing also. The same real will be can be optimized. So I have I have well the question to me is I have to optimize an antenna, and that antenna should work with the uh, at seventy degree. It should be having below minus three dB uh, power field the gain. So I have go to temple based post processing. I have choose the point and got the result, and then I have used the result name in a temple based post processing, and then I got the same result as below minus three dB. I have put it should be in a, the magnitude. So dB I choose the magnitude, and then I got this minus three value put, and then I got this result which is working very very fine. So this is well this this is a this is single objective function. You can choose it according to your interest. Multi-objective function, very very easy, and then. But you should keep in mind one thing: is having it. Yes, this one is very very important. It will prescribe that if you are having multi-objective, you should go and click on more. Okay, and you should choose the global setting. The global setting is having CMA evolution strategy of particle swarm optimization. If your optimization is having single or two, you should go with trust region. But this all thing depend on your initial guess. Okay, so what guess value is? Let us suppose you have designed this post location uh, here, and you know that my result is fairly accurate, but I need to further refine it. So you should choose it here, local optimize. And the guess, another guess is extreme right guess is okay, fine. This is my real, but I don't know where to put x and y one. But it should be within this range. So the you should go with global. So you should choose the optimization strategy very very carefully. Okay, and if you are having multiple 
multi objective then i must recommend that you should go with global okay other than this you can choose the local optimization also which is trust region framework or uh, global is cma evolution if you don't know where where is i am local global so if one entertainment made simple algorithm and let me put it this way this is very very important i have done multi i have my phd is in absorber meta material absorber and uh, well i have designed with the uh, sac isro ogp167 i have taken the project and i have designed this uh, multi layer microwave absorber using uh, unit cell and i have gone here and choose this called global setting okay and well global this all thing is having a brain okay understand it okay this all optimization algorithm is having a brain so it has chosen one point it, it may not choose another another time okay as well i have designed the pixelated structure dot 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 fss you know that convention type so you can design your structure in any other dim direction or dimension or like s shape or v shape of yours your interested shape or you have seen in any paper oh this is my this, this was the design for little modifying it i can have my own design i have designed it dot 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 and in dot 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 uh, i have used this called genetic optimization and it has reduced my time tremendously from 2 to the power 64 time to run it has reduced my time to 1000 okay so i let let me let me go with my journal paper is might be there so in pixelated fss fss my paper yeah this is my paper this pixelated fss structure embedded in frequency structure structure this is me this is my photo so i have done using this thing and i must tell you that if you are designing anything if it is pixelated you required one flow once your flow is there you need not to worry another time if you run it this 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 structure you can have it within no time so you need not to worry about okay find this thing i have designed it and another time i have to design it and you need not to worry about it okay you should have the flow okay <laughs> so the monitoring progress is there so first it will show the first layer first uh, result and the best so far will be there so you can have it this called optimization step is there so optimization step at 200 so it in so called 0 50 10 20 is 35 40 within 40 optimization step your result will be out okay so this is the best part so this you should keep in mind try to use concile parameterize try to keep number of goal function low now why this thing is required this thing reduce your time but it depend on your analysis okay so i am open to discussion and thank you for having attention okay the another part is there regarding frequency selective surface which i am discussing here well frequency selective surfaces here And this is simple. This is available in the CST Micro Studio, so you should not worry about the structure. Okay, so this structure, this entire setup will be available in frequency selective surface template. Have a such meta meter units that template, and then you need to design it. Okay, so Jadmin Jadmax will be the port. Okay, and Jadmin Jadmax will be Jadmax one, Jadmax two, Jadmin one, Jadmin two will be there. And yes, field monitor at F two is fifteen gigahertz. You have you need to put it so you put simulation there, field monitor, or you can have the probe also, or you can set up the solver setting also there. So once you start simulating it, the S parameter will be shown here. Okay, so this is S parameters. Okay. This is okay, and well, this is S parameter, but you need to understand it. Okay, fine. Sir, so, yes. so, there is a doubt in this parameter, which is the S two one. 
means they are eight eight parameters. Okay, okay, okay. Which okay. is the S2. Yes. Let, let, let me put it this way. They add max one one. So you should keep in mind the one one. This is defining a T and T one polarization. Okay. So how yes, can sir. you choose? How can you understand? Okay, fine. This is my T. This is my T one. Okay, so this one is this one perpendicular. So you know you can understand from this figure. Okay. And here is Z max and max these two are one. So this one is S11. And this one is S21, min one to Z max one. Okay. Okay. This max two to two. This one is S11, but is E, that one is T, this one is Tn. In 2 to Z max, so this one is S21 with the theta change. Okay. Is it okay, clear? Sir. Yes. So yes, sir. What is the meaning of mini, minimum and maximum in this case? Uh, this Min is, and max. Well, well, I must tell you, well, this is the four definition. You can change it also. Okay. So this is a standard four definition. So this will Z direction, okay. this will maximum Z direction. And that means they are facing minimum direction. Okay. So you can have it in okay. y min, y max also to change this small thing from going to boundary value and then you just open added space should be right here, here. But uh, it is prescribed that once you are having struck in y and x direction, so you this this thing will automatically happen. If you have chosen the struck in x and z direction, so y will be y max and y min will be there. So you, it will not be having any problem. You should Okay. One more issue. Okay, sir. When yes, sir. Uh, we are simulating, then it told that uh, you need to in, uh, increase order of the uh, order of this um, uh, port. What so, what is the meaning of order? Order increase the order. Ah, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. There are. What there. is the meaning of that so order? This mode, sir, you are talking about this mode? No, 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 no. Order, order. When we uh, sometimes it gives a message like uh, you need to increase your order. Okay, okay. Uh, as far as the accuracy is concerned, sir, the, uh, there are two types of order, even uh, more, even more. Or, Actually, or this four, one four, four, four mode uh, around, as, uh, I think, four mode, five mode. It yeah, yeah, sir. This all, this all thing, uh, well, you should understand this like that. The, even an odd mode, there one it will be phase shift, shift is there, sir. So you need to pick these all things so as to get the accuracy wise. So you're talking about accuracy wise. So you, if you choose the number of mode to be higher, then the accuracy of your result will be higher, sir. Okay, other so, than this single mode, so, mode it, operating. So, so, so it is difficult to identify our uh means from the s parameter results so it, it's it's very it is very difficult to identify that our uh, main result is which one no no sir, sir. understand it like that sir the, this so because uh, if, we, if, we, if we, listen listen sir if we increase the order of the source or means order of the uh acceleration then the s parameter gives uh, comes in a multiple means it comes around four, uh, eight or nine or ten or twelve like this. So which one we we can choose? Okay, okay, got got it. You should you should you should you should write to me this question and I will respond it to you. Okay, 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 okay. You should you you should okay because if I give you some minor some. Uh, uh, inaccurate answer, then you might be having a problem. Okay, so I, okay. I will. You should hundred percent write to me. Okay, the order. Okay. 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 I will. I will respond. Okay. So, so the best part is you should increase the number of. Uh, for this. Let me let me go to this. I think the maximum number of. Wait, wait, wait. Here, here is the there. Number of locate mode is there. This one, this one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ah, yes, yes. Locate mode. Locate mode. Oh, yeah. I, I will respond. I will respond. Okay. Yes. Okay. So yes. well, 
if you calculate all of this thing, you might be interested to calculate epsilon r value and mu r value, which you can calculate is going to you know template based code processing. Yeah. So when we are talking about meta material, uh, the epsilon and uh, permittivity and permeability should be negative. Uh, how this CST calculate it uh, means uh, whenever I want to record this epsilon graph, it is uh, inaccurate. It means when I re implementing the paper, I am getting a correct S11 parameter, but uh, permittivity and permeability is incorrect in this CST. Can you tell me how, what, uh, uh, on what basis it will be calculated in CST? Okay, okay, sir. Uh, I must tell you, you have used Nicholson Ross wire method. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I have also chosen the same way. And effective. Sir, actually, yes, sir. Uh, in most of the papers, uh, they are using this uh, method, and it uh, the pub published paper and uh, uh, equation which is which they are using. It is a published paper in 2011, and in CST itself, it using the 2004 paper, a paper used in to, published in 2004. So, what? Okay. How can I get the accurate uh, results of epsilon permittivity? You should put. Uh, have you put the same this the effective thickness sample size accurately? Yes, sir. The M value. Uh, what is this M value, sir? So M value in the Nicholson Ross wire method, you know that there is that the more got it. You know that there is an, an algorithm we need to provide the N value when you are uh, when you lambda value is crossing by lambda by 2. So you may not get the accurate real. Yes, am I audible? So can you repeat it once again? What is the... Uh, here is the... Wait a so I must tell you that M value is when you... Let me put it this way. The M value is like that. Uh, 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 let us suppose I have calculated the carbon and silica rubber 50% concentration, epsilon R mu R value. If I'm giving M value to be zero, it will calculate till a fixed frequency. And after it, the epsilon R mu R value is deviated from the previous, uh, the lower frequency. You know that. And you have to know that NRW suffer from a disadvantage. And the disadvantage is when the lambda by two, it covers the lambda by two inside your material, then it's in, in the material. Then you need to, if it's beyond lambda by two and it's in the material, then you must put M value to be one. Okay, then and then only your real will be generated and then the, your your real will be accurate okay understand so m25 plus theta is the same formula which is used here so here starting to m is higher frequency determine automatically so here you must go with zero and then this all thing will be determined automatically understand so if let us suppose if you have put the value to be one you know that the structure is quite big and uh, you you should have a guess okay this might be the epsilon and, variant, and my lambda by two is already covered inside this material because you know that lambda by the inside the material the frequency compress uh, and the wavelength compression is there so if it already covered the lambda by two inside your material so you must provide the m value to be one and time will to be two. On that basis, it will calculate the, the your result. Okay. But well, I haven't used this this technique because I know that uh, Nicholson Ross wire method, and I have used extensively MATLAB. Okay. So well, my code is also there. Uh, I, I will ready to. I will love to share that my code also. 
of calculating epsilon mu value from this s1 and s21 in phase and magnitude okay so you should understand it what the value of m is okay sir can you share me the code i will mail you regarding this and can you reply with your code nikhil sir ross wire method i will share it to you yes yes sir yes. Mm, okay i should you should when the other other student is writing a mail should give your mail i will send you the my thesis portion where i am going to code okay so you okay, should okay. you need simply modify that code and then everything will be done okay okay sir thank you sir okay so that's all for my uh... anything else so Can here you can tell us Yes. yes. Uh, can you tell us the ECM model? How we can derive the ECM model from CST? Sir, one oh, one yeah. thing I want to also from the this unit cell analysis. Uh, what yeah. is the meaning of the embedded the ports? Uh, the embedded the ports. What is the meaning exact exact meaning of this? Embedding the port. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh well, well, well. Let me go back to the embedding port. Yes, sir. Yeah, there is nothing like embedding code, sir. Where, where, where have you find some embedding code, sir? Actually, uh, when I am asking for a exact uh, analysis of the unit cell, uh, some expert are, are uh, suggest to me that please de-embed de -embed the ports. Um, I am not getting the exact meaning of this, sir. Okay, so the CST Microwave Studio came with uh, the beautiful part of the CST is that you need not to worry about the port hmm. because the ports will be automatically defined in CST Microwave Studio. You need to focus only on your design. Okay, that's okay, all. Okay, sir. So, so, sir, uh, one thing I want to also uh, ask you, uh, sir, whenever I sign the sir uh, uh, flocket port, the flocket huh. port we is a uh, In the some difference, some difference distance from the actual uh, our design plane. Our that, 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 that's why that's why the CST you are asking me about HFS. So hmm. HFS is having you need to define the master and the slave type arrangement, then E field and HT equal to zero perpendicular to each other, and then you can simulate the entire structure. But this thing is not. Uh, this thing is being solved as in CST Microwave Studio. You need not to worry about it. That's why the wagon wheel. Actually, no, 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 actually, my question is that: ki, what is the medium from the uh, the flocket port, for example, Z Max, to that the circuit plane? What is the medium? That means we are considering the vacuum plane or simply air or yes, some yes, kind yes, of. Yes, 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 yes. You should go to simulation background. What the meaning of background means? Let us suppose you haven't defined. Let me go to this. Okay, so you have defined this entire structure yes, in sir. in C. Okay, you don't know what is this. Am I right? Yes. So once you have gone to background, background means. Whichever part which you haven't defined, and mm. it is enclosed in your boundary, mm. okay. 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 That thing is we will be talking. So here I have defined the value one one mm. as an air. So it will be, or or as a vacuum. It will be taken as a vacuum. Mm. Conductivity is there. Two T R thermal conductivity is there. Oh, thermal conductivity also there. So it will be taken as an air. Okay. Okay. The answer is yes. Uh, one point two four. So it might be taking something like air or something like that. Or you can change it from here. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, so that's the that. I mean, this this all problem you might be facing in HFSS type of because in HFSS if you haven't defined it, so it might be taking as a metal or something like that. So it it that's why I have in the beginning I have told you that lots of the IIT and IIT and company are saying that in HFSS I think they. We define as a vacuum. Ah, huh, but definition define. You need to first define oh. it, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that is so. Well, basically, 
Well, the best part of CST is it very very user friendly, sir. Uh, sir, um, one question I want to also ask, uh, sir. Uh, uh, sir, for example, if I am considering this circuit as a our uh, unit cell, how we can observe the electric field distribution uh, on the that uh, that circuit surface? Magnitude or phase, sir. Okay, okay, fine. You, you can have it. Electric field distribution like this, sir. In in terms of magnitude, mag we can uh, observe the magnitude, but how we can observe the phase distribution over the length of that means in x direction or in y direction. You need to have this call. Okay, okay, go. Got it, got it. You need to have select those template based post processing. Okay. And then you can have this called called this electric field over x y z point, and then you can have a, a phase as well as, as well as as well as so well this one this one show here a phase I think it's available. You must choose it. Sir, sir this person is uh, I'm taking from the transmitter and uh, reflector. Eh? Actually, whenever I'm excited the uh, our uh, that uh, reflector or transmitter eh, from the uh, particular source. Then we have to observe the electric mag electric field magnitude and phase on that surface. And basically, we are calculated the phase on the uh, length uh, along the length of x and y direction. So th uh, that is that that is I want to uh, 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 I want to uh, ask you okay, how to we can uh, observe or uh, uh, take the analysis or observation, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Imagine it's been shown here. Oh, you wanted to see in 2D, sir? Or... Uh, yes, a 2D in 2D. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Then you need to define a point and over which you are calculating. So that's uh, okay, fine. Got it. So you must go with the simulation field probe. Sir, actually, uh, uh, sir, in uh, I'm working on the meta surface. Uh, meta surface. So you should choose the field probe, sir. Field probe will give you the 2D or 3D analysis, 2D value of electric field in uh, in phase as well as in magnitude value. So you should pick the 2D probe here, here, and here, 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 wherever you enter because this is an infinite cross infinite uh, plane. If you're mm -hmm. taking it in. Uh, uh, in the X, Y, Z mode, infinite call infinite. So you should pick the point over which you are interested by using field probe and you should choose the, let me go. Sir, so actually uh, uh, in one dimensional, I can uh, I can easily done uh, do, do the same thing. But the, actually in 2D plane, sir, I'm unable to find a solution how we can observe the uh, phase distribution. Wait, wait for a minute, sir, I'm having it, sir. Yes, yes, sir. So you need to provide X, Y, Z for here electric field. Okay. Or you can calculate the magnetic field, A field in far field region, or you can calculate the RC space. So electric field will you need to provide. Okay. And all X, Y, Z coordinates. So you should know that this is okay. I'm interested in this point. So Z will be zero and X, Y value, Y value have given let us suppose you one and one. And okay, putting okay, and then okay. So my where gone go oh, value well, yes here is okay sir okay sir okay so then you need to simulate it again and here it will be shown that the electric field and value will be uh, having some some value over the frequency range okay sir okay sir. So because you need to pick the point, okay, so where you want to calculate it. So uh, can, can we, sir, observe in the uh, whole plane, sir? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What can you calculate it in real part?
Sir, there is one question in chat box also related to metamaterial unit cell absorptivity. Wait, wait, wait for one minute, sir. Okay, sir. So here I have got this result. Yes. Well, real imaginary part. So here real part is imaginary part seems to be zero. A real part is electric field, and this is the frequency range. So at Z main, so Z max will be providing this much at one one zero position. So you can have it. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. This is the. Uh, this is the sir simple graphical representation. Uh, where can we can some uh, uh, 2D visualization animation with something like that? Then this is very good, sir. Am I right, sir? Yeah, I I, I get it, sir. But uh, I'm just asking to you, can we visualize in 2D in uh, in animation kind of uh, things? Just for example, sir, if field at one one position in x y direction. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, sir. Well, this this all things might be available in CST, so you need to pick the. Uh, but you you need to work. Well, this is this is possible in normal. You need to cut the plane into half. Okay, sir. Then field on this cross section A. Should I pick? We have pick okay, sir. So okay. Well, you, you need to work over it, sir. That's that's all. This this all thing is available because this is a silly thing, sir. In mm. this uh, CST, and then you use the plane chain. So well, this all thing is available. Okay, sir. So you need to work over it, sir. That, that, that's all. You need to cut the plane, and then you can have pick the point, sir. Okay, sir. And then then this all thing is available. So you need to position, keep the position x y normal. Free from so you these all things are possible in the CST micro studio. Yes, sir. Sir, actually, the thing is that I am working on the right now, I'm working on the transmitter structures from Trans the transmitter. Okay. Because, sir, actually, at for example, there is a my source micro stuff, simple micro strip pass antenna, and above the uh, above the, that micro strip pass antenna, uh, okay. for let's for example, I'm considering the 8 mm high uh, uh, prop, uh, far from the 8 mm. Uh, my uh, transmitter is placing at that position. Okay, okay. So actually, uh, with the um, MATLAB analysis or analytical analysis, I just calculating the phase distribution along the x and y axis. Yes, got it, got but it, the thing it. is that, but the thing is that, just I am considering at that that particular height, how I will excite the uh, that particular upon uh, our uh, transmitter plane and how it will behave in the uh, uh, give the uh, phase variation in, in that x y plane of the real time sir we have an analytical formula we can calculate from okay, the matrix okay, so you are saying very to easy. me that you are having an antenna we can know it yes and it is excited and above it you are having huh. structure like yes this. yes sir or you want you want to calculate it there how is this phase variation is there over this whole thing yes sir. and how this phase variation will be interacted well with this uh, css or this will be for any high gain antenna design structure like yeah this. yeah exactly so actually the, there is a phase compensation theory for a phase compensation theory so then i have to analyze the also the how much the phase variation uh, provided by the that particular source at that particular in the transmitter plane okay okay so got it got i got it so let me put it this way sir well this jad mean in jad max cannot solve your query because jad mean in jad max is a but it's like a plane wave going through okay so you yeah, are having yeah. an antenna mm -hmm. okay so this antenna may not be a plane where you are having a point source here so you need to pick the point source here and then uh, well your antenna type structure will be there and then this entire structure will be simulated like that sir Okay, sir. Yeah, 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 so, you, yeah, so this is this 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 either this you are having an array of x and y direction of the same antenna, or you should simulate a single antenna. Mm. Okay, sir. So yes, sir. I must tell you that you should you should have first simulate the same single antenna, mm. and then going to the called antenna model design, sir. In this this in this structure, by giving them frequency domain, or you should pick this thing. Mm -hmm. And then above it, you should put this called FSS structure, and then you can simulate it. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. So okay. 
this this thing cannot be used because this will provide a plane where you you are having a phase difference and from this to this point to my yeah it's there sir phase difference mm. all this phase difference will be going uh, above and providing you the beam forming sir the beam forming can also be possible mm. so you should go with this for antenna design for this antenna temper and then you should work over it because this thing cannot be used here and i hope that here it, it will be very very useful to you sir and other than this i have to work over it sir other if you are calculating the the phase difference which you are getting you yes, must and i have already told you that you must pick let us the antenna beneath you you must pick the fourth pole four point where you are interested and put the probe there okay sir okay so let us suppose okay, this is your upper part of your antenna and you pick the four point at the center of this conductor Mm -hmm. Your antenna is there, sir. So you will come to know that okay, this is the value of the uh, phase value of electric field. I will uh, having this at the four different points. You can re-stimulate and you can further process it. Okay, sir. But this okay, whole thing sir. not possible in this called the uh, single what what unit cell structure. And then you need to provide here the bonding you know, also with added space and all this stuff so that your structure will be mm -hmm. used as an antenna. So probe, I must recommend that you should choose the probe, and then everything will be solved. Okay, this will provide you the free phase value also, as you have already seen in this in this structure value. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, okay. next question is that, sir, uh, if I'm just designing a 3D unit cell, sir, uh, then 3D, yes. in boundary condition, I'm just keeping the unit cell in x and y direction, and I'm just keeping the z direction is open at space yes, in yes, the boundary sir. condition. Yes. So while I am designing this at 3D unit cells, and what what will be uh, uh, what will be boundary condition? I have to must be given in, in the simulation. So you should give the unit cells sir, in X and Y. If this let me put it, sir, this one not 2D sir. This one you can see it's in 3D sir. It is having mm, okay. okay sir. Just for example, yes sir. Uh, sir, uh, that the for in this structure, sir, for uh, uh, sake of the theory, sir, just I'm saying that this is the, the thickness of this uh, material, dielectric material, is very less less than the lambda value, right? Oh, yeah. So, just wait, 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 designing 3D structure, which is comparable to the lambda value. So, how we can sir, consider the boundary conditions, sir? Just for example, I'm just... Boundary conditions, the... let me put it this way, sir, that... You are simulating a unit cell, and you know that your unit cell length varies from x to y, which is very very high. Mm -hmm. Always use the unit cell. Okay. Yes, sir. Whatever is it height, it won't take anything. It mm -hmm. it will be taken care of by the software. Always choose the unit cell and the Jadwin Jadmax as your power input and power output side. Okay, and that's all. Sir, in this visual, uh, uh, visual, uh, are you are showing uh, to us uh, the example, sir? If uh, whenever I'm just uh, giving the flocker port on Z axis, so it will just count the in X Y direction, uh, just uh, perform the analysis of the unit cell in X and Y direction. So uh, while I'm designing a three D cell, in also I'm just keeping the dimension in Z axis also. So, sir, how it takes the consider the Z axis also in the analysis Z X or Z Y or some or other dimensions, sir. That you can completely consider all the directions, sir. Now fine, sir. Now my ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. No problem yes. with it, sir. Let me put it this way, sir. Well, you can you can all the boundary will be same, sir. Hmm. Okay. You need not to um, because this now you can see that there are say one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine structures there. Even though X and Y, you can it can vary infinitely to infinite. Okay, okay. The structure will be there. And this you you can see the jet value I have given to one. Okay. Okay. And all things will be taken. Even if this, let us suppose if you are putting a hole inside this called a par or whatever, and you are having again metallic. Mm. So your metal structure will become 3D. All things will be taken care of by the unit cell. That, that, mean, that means I, I, I need to don't worry for any no need it, to, it already. Yes, yes, yes. No need to worry about it. Okay. And the question it, is, yes. mine is, the, sir, uh, uh, when I'm going to the sir, template, just for, I'm just uh, choosing the RF and microwave uh, templates for the designing. 
there is a sir a, a periodic cell structure periodic cell analysis so in periodic cell analysis we have the templates of the unit cell analysis and uh, one option is also that the metabolic full structure analysis sir okay, what is where the... you are having sir in macros or in template sir in the yes. just i am just in the starting point the beginning sir just starting point when i am selecting the rf and microwave for simulation sir just go into the new new and recent file sir yeah, yes sir yeah. go into the uh, go into the new and recent file sir in just pressing the yeah 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 so no, no, sir. Uh, yeah, just project template, sir. When I'm just opening the new project template. Project template. Project template. On the sir. top. Project, on the yeah, project template. Uh, then microwave and RF optical. Then periodic structure, sir. Last one, periodic, periodic structure. Periodic structure, sir. Uh, then this is the metamodel full structure. So what is the difference between, sir, uh, FSS metamodel and sir? Well, how we can... No, sir. This is a FSS full structure, metamaterial full structure, sir. I'm just asking about the metamaterial full structure. And first yes, one sir. is the metamaterial single unit cell. Well, let me This one for unit cell, sir. This one metamaterial full Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Well, what is the difference, sir? Well, uh, it is just time. I want to know that how, in which application I want uh, I can use this template. Well, this whole thing. Uh, well, you can simulate. Well, you then it is used to simulate your entire meta material structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, entire of your interest. Let us suppose it's high. Let us suppose it is having a ten unit mm -hmm. cell. Let us suppose of ten mm each, and then you can design entire unit cell here. And then you can simulate it here. Okay. okay. So that okay. so, but unit cell, if it's infinite or infinite, but here it's having certain length and width. Okay. That's okay, the sir. Okay. Okay. Sir. Because uh, how I find it out by looking to it, this called added space, sir. Oh, well, the the material, the meta material will be having an X and Y here, and there will be space available on the outer edge of this structure okay and then you are having this called the simulation okay so this will be used for entire structure once you your structure is having a def definite length and width okay that's okay. the so you need to define the the port also here or in a post side also it may not be jadmin and jadmax it may be having a jad x and one and one also or two also and this whole thing, uh, you can reduce the port size also here. So you can have the horn type port, port size, or you can have the point type port size, or you can simply have the plane wave falling from this jet to minus jet or plus jet to minus jet to plus jet. Okay. So okay, sir. Uh, now, my last question is the uh, that, sir, uh, there is an option in the home tab, sir. There is a simulation project. Okay, sir. Oh, yes, there is a home tab. Yeah, so, uh, so I'm just a uh, 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 was some YouTube videos they are using the simulation uh, project for the array task, but I'm not exactly sir getting the how how we can use this uh, this uh, simulation project. Uh, let me say how it is useful for us, sir. Okay, okay, got it, sir. Let us suppose, sir, you this this. Well, this all thing is generally preferred once you are having a schematic type of arrangement. Okay. okay. So let you provide one port here and then you, this is not having any ports. Sir. So one connection is there and then you should go there and just like this, all 3D blocks. So this, see, this entire thing will be generated in this 3D pattern. Okay. Okay. So let me have it. Okay. It is having the four ports. So you can go there and click and then you can have it one, two port, and you can have this called three port, and then you just go with and the, this will be generated, and then you can high frequency and then solver type transient. So this one is having a, a, a another thing, sir. Hmm. Okay, sir. Okay. So well, this might be useful to you or might not be useful to you. This whole thing depends on your interest. Okay, sir. 
So this generally prefer for the, what you can say that EMI EMC related issues. So as you have already sir, actually seen, the array task uh, is very useful for me, sir. Actually, I, but I'm not getting how we can use this sir. simulation in simulation project. There is the option of the array task. Yeah, uh, okay, got it, got it, got it. What, 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 so the sir has asked me, hmm. you can use this, this simple structure also. Hmm. So TSP file will give you his, uh, how to generate TSP file. One, one, let me go to the, you are having antenna makers, so open antenna makers. Antenna makers. Uh, sir, uh, in, uh, actually sir, uh, uh, most of the uh, most of the uh, experts are also uh, just uh, designing the unit cylinder uh, uh, transform into the array structure. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yes, sir. So th that that thing I want to ask. Okay. How we can uh, how I can sorry, okay. design from the that. Okay, okay, got it, got it. You are having an antenna. Let me take an antenna. Let me cancel these all things. I will be discussing EBG structure next tomorrow session or. Okay, sir. Okay. Regarding you have given me the graphene structure. Graphene is available here. So, well, material and then for optical. Yeah, this one is okay. You need to change this all thing and then clicking okay, okay. And then graphene will be available here. Can we get the equivalent circuit model from CST? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, first, let me, let me, let me go with the English question. This one, I'm just giving an example of graphene material. So the graphene is available. Okay, so you need to apply the graphene to the different, different material. And then so you must perform the simulation. So this is preferred for the optical frequency, okay? Okay, sir. So what, what you have asked me, let us suppose you are having an antenna, an antenna megas. This one very, very heavy. Oh, let's do this one. I have put pick, pick it up. And then I have to go to antenna synthesis or any uh, antenna of your interest or whatever is you here to pick the layout. I've got the same layout. This one set up. Frequency I have to provide this all thing. Okay, so you can design your antenna very, very effectively here. Okay. Hello, Rahul, sir. Yes. Sir, your uh, screen is, uh, it looks like your screen is uh, freezed. Uh, I can't see any uh, variation of your pointer or something. Okay, okay, okay. Let's settle down. May have Can you see or... right now? Or... No, sir, I can't. I think uh, you should just stop sharing and then start sharing again. Maybe in that way, uh, we okay, may yes, get yes, yes, yes. to be. No, my computer is somewhere hanging, sir. It's because this antenna makes a very, very heavy software. Okay, I'm sharing. Now I think it's visible. Yes, it is visible. Okay, fine. So let me go to the array task. So here you have provided the four cross four array, generally preferred like this, and you need to provide the spacing in X and Y direction. A grid angle is 90 degrees, or it can be zero degrees, so it will be defined automatically. 
or you can choose a diamond type structure you can choose octa gun type structure so this all thing showing that uh, this is your arrange arrangement of your array and then you must click okay so the entire structure will be arranged so here it is provided 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 okay so either you can submit a unit cell or you can submit a full array so you should pick of your interest okay if you think that i don't want to have this much uh, arrangement so you should again go back to the property here the property so the duplicate now new task here to new task no 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 so uh, here go to here and array so you you should choose it according to your interest and then to here and then you can clear as a full or you can have the so i am getting full okay let so this will be asked no select template no transient solver frequency domain solver and clicking okay okay sir so this the pattern will be there sir okay this is one way of doing it now let us suppose if you are having a radiation pattern so you can clearly see my structure is available entire structure so either you can simulate single structure so this simulate single structure is simulated or i can have it complete structure so my complete structure will be simulated then you need to press simply over this button okay so i'm test structure will be simulated so you can choose a round or or any other shape or you can have a tsv file tsv file simply is a file which will take each one of the center point and start picking putting the array okay so tsv file is having the that 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 that, that thing or oh, i think you can generate tsv file from here also i think Mm -hmm. Let me let me have it file TSP file yeah for circular process array so you can select a TSP file for four cross rows you need to provide the array design frequency range you can have the LHP as SFP or you can change it also afterward also even you can after clicking okay this one EBG structure SP this one so I'm going to the same. ebg structure sp and here we are having tsp file you should open it in uh when uh, this one is open so this one is having the you can clearly see the 11 antenna is 000 4646 jad is 111 this is location the magnitude is 60 so you can change it house here also this one this one is x this one is y this one is z magnitude one you can change the the value also design frequency one is to the power 9 and you can change the phase also five value theta and gamma okay and you can have the same design okay sir so sir, you can use screen again please sir uh, i is it now it is working sir okay sir okay okay stop sharing Now visible. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes sir. Uh, so as to generate TSV file, you should go here, file, and TSV file. Then you can provide the X, Y, and all of this thing, okay. and OK. Click clicking on OK, and then you should go to the TSV file where the location is there. so my tsv file location is in e ebg sp wait 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 uh, here it is provided with x y and z this is a magnitude this is a phase this is a file theta and gamma value or i can open this one also this one is having well this one is having the 4 cross 4 array so this one enter again 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 issue again the same issue yes okay so you you got an idea so how to generate tsv file and then you need to uh, simply import that t that tsv file when well, i am correcting it sir 
there can be individually uh... got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, yes yes is it visible no, sir. yes uh, yes 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 sir yes Marker so is you need... to... yes sir it is fine okay yes sir uh, sir uh, can we can we individually uh, control the parameters of each uh, uh, antenna in the uh, computer from the computer data array structure uh, can you elaborate your question can you so actually i am saying that we can we control the uh, single uh, from the uh, one a single sourced antenna parameters okay. yes yes no yes, sir. but one point you should note sir hmm. well let us suppose i am having an antenna let us suppose let me cancel these all things sir so mm -hmm. i can explain it to you how to generate okay let me open an antenna okay sir Okay, so let us suppose I am picking the antenna. Mm -hmm. And what you are suggesting is that okay, so far field is not there. Okay, points are far field not there. It has to be far field. So So you can go to far field, okay, so. and there is a then then there is a property of far field, and in property far field there is an array hmm. is there. So it is having yes. two so single and a multiple also. So you can choose the multiple. So the difference between you can choose the multiple and then again the same procedure will be there. You will either you will provide a with DSP file or you should have this all arrangement like diamond, square, circular, and then this whole thing. The main difference between these two is that only the radiation pattern will be done here in the far field. So the main problem is that so the what the mutual coupling between the one end cross one antenna and the four cross four antenna it may not be calculated. Okay, which is very 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 required. If the same problem has been asked to Amphenol Amphenol company, and I have told them that you must then had if that the condition. You must go with a full wave simulation. So here, an effector is there. So you need to provide the array. Mm. Okay, and then all things will be you need to select. Okay, or you can go to this. This this one is very good. Array single antenna array property, and then you will provide it with this call one two. You can put the number of antenna how many element is then x and y. Z is one. You should keep it and the spacing between these two and update the list and clicking. Okay, only the radiation pattern will be changed. Okay, okay. so you can change the radiation pattern. Let us you are you are having a let us suppose four cross four antenna and you want to build an eight cross and eight antenna. And by using four cross four antenna, you figure out what the mutual coupling between one cross one antenna and the four cross four antenna is not. And it's let us suppose it is within your permissible limit. Then you need not to worry about one what uh, mutual coupling happened with the four, eight cos eight antenna. Then you can go to this setting, and then you can have the radiation pattern of r theta phi or whatever you are doing. So the main problem with the M phenol is that well they are simulating one antenna and uh, what the mutual coupling at the another antenna by using the power provided at the one cos one antenna. How to calculate? So I have told them that they they satisfy okay fine if the mutual coupling value will depend on the distance. As the distance rises, so the mutual coupling is slowly decreasing its magnitude. So once they got one cross four cross four antenna, and then when they satisfy, okay, fine, this is very good. Or they have, okay, fine, they have used because this, this also will take lots of time to calculate what the mutual coupling between one cross one antenna and the four cross four antenna. Mm -hmm. So this is a very good tool. If the is a constraint, you need to measure only the radiation pattern. Then this is a very good thing. You should go to property. And array factor, and then everything will be done. Okay, sir. Okay, sir.
so here we cannot uh, change the feeding network means we cannot make feeding network only we can uh, what sir what you say sir feeding network we cannot change or we cannot make na in this Oh, sir, sir, feeding, feeding network, sir. Let me put it this way, sir. And our it is it is like a unit cell distribution. Yeah, yes. Yeah, In this type of arrangement, you cannot change it, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. This is a unit mm -hmm. cell, and you are just simply going to the to this property, and then. But yes, you can change in the uh, other other which is uh, um, having the array structure, and there there you will be provided with a different different port, and then behind this port you are having the feeding network also. So that kind of simulation can be done because I have designed the one helical antenna, circular helical antenna. Basically, the CST provides the four port, but I have to use the one port. So I have to go with go and divide by the by the yeah, yeah. power power divider, and then taking the length. Lambda by two, and then again yes. going to lambda by four, uh, other port lambda by four plus L length. So I have designed it, and it was very good, great sir. So yes. you can do each and everything, sir. So it depends on your complexity, sir. Either you can have uh, this called as uh, uh, the antenna design at putting model at the other side, and this the divider at other side, and you are combining it in uh, the schematic, or you can. Go with the Fourier simulation. You should have the uh, behind, and then you just go. So these all things is possible in the CST method. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, actually, uh, I'm requesting you to please, sir, uh, so uh, so as to some de demonstration to why the same question about the electric field uh, electric field phase distribution calculation. A demonstration. So, if it, uh, yeah, if it is possible, sir, uh, it will. Uh, uh, you can uh, demonstrate uh, as to tomorrow, sir. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and, tomorrow. Uh, so you should give me the few queries which you have asked me. You should make the queries so that tomorrow I will. Tomorrow I will be available at two or maybe three, sir. So I will be telling you uh, when will I will be available because my tomorrow school is busy. So I will, within half an hour, one hour, I will make sure that the reality is And sir, so can you tell us? If... Hello, sir. Hmm. One more point, any... sir. Yes. Can we means uh, the the queries again? We uh, means again we listed again. In the word file, ah, oh, sir, you should write a mail to me. Write a mail to me, okay, sir. That's okay, the okay. So write a mail to Jyoti Electronic, and tomorrow, she tomorrow I will be telling you when I will be available. Available at two thirty or two or some time between two and three. Uh, within half an hour, one hour, I will clear all of it. Yeah. But one question is there regarding transmission line parameter. It is very simple. So if this thing is available. You should go to you might think, oh, this is transmission line impedance value, okay, for your antenna, okay, sir. So you yeah. know that the reference impedance also there, so you can easily calculate the the different the transmission line the uh, by using Smith chart the the equivalent circuit equivalent model, but it may not be calculated that okay, fine, you are you are having multiple R and L and C circuit, so it may be calculated from this point, or you can put a so define a port at this point or this point. So this you know that if you are designing a patch antenna, if you are choosing different different port at different different location, then R and C value will be changed. Okay, sir. So it is very easy to calculate the the equivalent model, and in FSS because it is provided with all sort or sort sort of arrangement then it is very easy to calculate the RLGC circuit. So RLGC is provided here, which will help you out in calculating this all this the uh, transmission and parameter and jets is also this. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. One more query is how to define metamaterial unit cell um, absorbity. Oh, so absorbity is can be
The absorbance you can calculate from here, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So this all thing will be visible, sir. Here. Okay. Let me put it this way. Where it gone, sir? I have to go and re-simulate it, sir. Okay, sir. So I will, I will, I will get back to you tomorrow. So, okay, sir, you like. Okay, okay, okay. One more query we have listed that uh, mesh cells. Ah, yes, sir. Yes. So mesh cell is very, very important. There are two type of, three type of meshing, accidental, tetrail, and surface mesh. So surface mesh is preferred when you are having a metallic structure and the IGN mode is very, very, you know, so integral equation is used. So other than this, this mesh view is very, very important. So number of mesh depend on your, define your accuracy. And the company says that if you are choosing a mesh cell to be very, very high, the accuracy range to be my below my 50. Okay, sir. So if you get the 545, 50, 60 dividend, that was the best. So how to get the accuracy is, well, it's required a few formula, sir. Power will, power one, this is the power value. You must do with the power value. This, this all thing will be help you. This is A, sir. This is called 0.5 watt, which you have simulated. And so power going on all ports, sir. So the 0.5 watt is going either to second port and first port. And then you must add all of these things and subtract from it and take it in dB. This will be your accuracy, sir. Okay, sir. So the number of mesh cell, you, you are meshing right now. Updating. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, mesh cell, higher the mesh cell, highest will be accuracy. I must tell you that you should not go with the highest mesh cell, sir. You must, for accuracy wise, you should go to here, adaptive meshing property, and this thing you should, LS problem should be 0, 01. Yes, this one will be taken as standard value of high, highest accuracy. Okay, all S parameter. Okay. So you must first go with this called default value. Once you are having the result, okay, fine, you satisfy with this result, then you should go with zero one. Okay, and this re it. Okay, by using the same value. This will be taking your mesh cell to be lax, even it may raise to millions of mesh cell. And then finally, it will produce the real, which will be highest accuracy. Okay, so this is the entire entire flow which we are following, which you must follow it. So you should not worry about the highest accuracy by mesh cell. You should go with the default. And once you satisfy with this with this, uh, this structure with all inaccuracies, because one of my friend is designing a directory resonator antenna and so people told him you haven't taken the sensitivity analysis and what he has done is he has simply used the patch and patch the transmission and, and the DRA connection. So he hasn't used any soldering. So the company, the SAC has told you, you need to put a solder. So you should define the solder. So all of your practical expectations should be completed by using default condition. And then you must go with the highest accuracy. Okay, sir. That's all. So, so you can, our, every mesh cell mesh view can be deal, everything can be dealt with. Mesh higher the mesh value, highest accuracy you can have the results. But more time is taken, more time. Yes, sir. There is an option of automatic uh, mesh selling. Here you can uh, open the global properties. Global properties. Global properties. Mesh sales. Okay, wait, wait for me. Yes, sir. Here it is automatic. But sometimes it, it, it tells that. Uh, Mesh cells fail. Mesh cells, yeah, yes, mesh yes. cells fail. Yeah, so yes, yes, sir. How, how it will come? Now the mashing, let me put it this way the mashing is been checked whether the if you are increasing the mesh cell 
and if your result is not changing then it will say the meshing is been failed your result is not changing much so you cannot move further sir that one one point sir okay sir okay. otherwise this automatically it will be done sir, in the in the get the best I have designed the uh, uh, linear circuit or filter, and it has a track width of uh, 0.2 mm. 0.2 okay, mm. For 0.2 mm, it cannot uh, generate um, automatic meshes. No, 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 no. no. At that time, you need to work with uh, with another property called local meshing, sir. Local mesh property. So this will be having an effect. Let us go the ring I have chosen. So here the meshing will be done on the ring. Okay, sir. So number of step and then this thing you have to define it. So if because sir, uh, if you have taken 0.2 mm structure, the meshing has been there and some some if you are using time domain, so it will say that okay, our your port is there and beyond the port you should have three mesh cell and after it you should have the another. So you should go with this local meshing property. So this local part will be meshed. And other part will be meshed as a default set. Yeah. So actually, and there is there is some message also that it it um, tells that the ratio age ratio maximum and minimum. What is the meaning of maximum and minimum age ratio? I'm not, I'm not getting sir. Where, where do you find sir? So, Age ratio means, sir, I'm not able to get your what It gives an error. It gives an error like uh, it exceeds the max ratio, maximum and minimum age ratio. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it. Edge, edge error ratio. In time domain analysis, I think, sir, yes. Uh, frequency, frequency, frequency. Okay, frequency, frequency domain. domain yes, yes, yes. Well, well, uh, I, can, I can show you a message. I think. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Can I show you? Ah, oh, yes, sir. You, you, should, you should. Can I do visual? Oh, well, I like, visual? No, no, it's not visible. It is not visible. Now? You, you, should, you should send me this error. I will, I will definitely going to work over it. Okay, sir. So there are there is that we, it shows the, the length ratio between the shortest and longest model age is one two uh, three zero twenty six short model age can be highlighted by the mass control check mass this these are the they are the mass uh, cells issues so how can we uh, overcome that. Uh, sir, let me put it this way, sir. The, you need to work with the mesh, mesh, and uh, well, there might be some other errors, sir, because uh, well, you are give, given this mesh view error, sir. But there might be some structural error which may which may be gone as a uh, actually as a and and it, then it, 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 it shows the issue is like like first one issue is that a cad face contains some adjacent and very close cad edges. These are okay, you should do one thing, sir. You should mail me this error and I will just give it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will I will send you because, uh, because whenever the error message came, sir, I have to look towards a different, different and other thing also, sir. What's your and you should send me the CST file if it's possible, then that's the best thing. Yes, sir, I have all the images of CST. Okay, send then send me sir, send me please. Okay, 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 sir. Excuse me, sir. I too have a question. Yes, sir. sir uh, in the initial slides of your presentation, you showed uh, us uh, uh, some uh, experiments related to optimization, in which uh, in, in the S11 plot, once uh, the plot was giving S11 uh, well above minus 10 dB, but after using the optimization, the whole range of the frequency was giving S11 below minus 20 dB. So you showed us oh, that yes, this we can achieve such this type of S11 plots using optimization. So, sir, uh, can you show us the process how you achieved it, how you did that uh, experiment? Yes, sir. Uh, 
uh, of uh, for optim using the optimization technique can you show that experiment or how we can do that okay sir got it sir oh, thank you sir. now it depend on on you whether you want to change if your reality is near mm -hmm. so you should choose this called trust region framework or you should Oh, okay, and genetic algorithm, particles of optimization. Okay, so these two are global. When you don't know the all this parameter value, okay, and mm -hmm. if you know that, okay, find my parameter is approximately correct, but I need to work over to get the highest accuracy. So you need to go with this thing. Okay, need this trust region framework work very good. If you are if you as a local optimization and this these two are work very good as a global optimization. Other optimization you can also use. So can you take you an example uh, of an antenna or something? Okay, okay, yes. We are having an antenna, yes. Okay, sir. This is patch length and patch width. I'm optimizing. Okay. You can increase a 20%. Well, the value will be changed automatically. The initial initial value will be three three. Okay, mm -hmm. the best value is zero zero zero. So it I think it it, it, it will assume it is not a problem. Okay, then you should choose the particle swam optimization in the property. You can swam size, number of iteration, number of these all things you can easily modify it. Okay, in general property will be particle size all or none. You, you can choose it. Then you will go to goal. Type of goal is standard goal. Go here. S1 value magnitude below minus 20 dB. Okay, okay. A use slope then you must provide with the target max value. Okay. Well, this is not used. So you are into single frequency 2.5. Let's support 2.5 put. Okay. Range I will put the range I will put. Okay. Then I must. Okay. This one is one parameter. If you are interested in new goal, then yes. Okay, 2.45 input, go to again here, 2.3.45, 3.45, put it there below my stand dB. So magnitude, I have got it, okay. And all things said, okay. The my stand dB weighted, both are one one because both are important to me. Yes, okay, so and again, you can, Okay, you should go with the setting, you check it and then you start it. And that's all. So this uh, within the patch length, you have chosen particle swim optimization. So the you don't know where is your minimum maximum will be final final value. Mm -hmm. So the particle swim optimization will work. It's having the brain, okay. Understand it. And if you know that my my this call this current at three and it's and two percent work good, but it's not the best. Mm -hmm. You must choose algorithm. So this will be chosen near to these two points. Okay, yeah. sir. So that's all. That's all. Sir, there are some questions uh, regarding graphene also. Uh, when we uh, use graphene as the material, suppose for an antenna. Um, we are using patch of graphene. So how the meshing of graphene should be done so that we can get the appropriate results out of it? Hello. Hello, Rahul, sir. More accuracy is the you sir, uh, sir. Can you repeat your explanation? Uh, your voice was not audible. Uh. Hello, sir. I think the internet. Uh, hello, sir. I'm audible, sir. Yes, sir. Now you're audible, sir. So let, let me show it to you, sir. Server snug material.
well, this thing is used for optical frequency. Yes. So graphing is this, sir. So you can provide graphing layer over above it, sir. And graphing meshing will be done in a similar way as other other thing has been done, sir. And you need not to worry about it. That it required a special attention. It will work as good as other material. The material property is there, so that property will be taken care. So and and that's also graphene is a material which is having certain property, and that property will be taken care by the CST. Okay, so, so you need not to pay you know special attention to a graphene material. This is a peculiar material, so it's a material. All the proper here, sir, it's a calculation piece, sir. It may mm -hmm. not, the CST will not think, oh, it's a graph. It will take certain parameter of it. It will calculate it. Okay, sir, you should not worry about it, the, how to design the mesh view of that. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, now, sir, uh, actually, I want to share something with you. Uh, so, hello? Ah, yes, sir. Yes, uh, let me get out from us. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, is it is it my screen visible to sir? Uh, Raul, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's it's visible. Visible. Okay, uh, sir, yeah. actually, yeah. Uh, the thing That's is full. Uh, but full. Hello. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. sir. Yes. Actually, sir, Rahul, sir, actually, yes, sir. my question is that key okay, wherever uh, this is, sir, this is a simple, sir, transmitter structure, sir. This for this plate one. Sir, whenever I'm just giving the excitance from a uh, waveguide or simple any antenna, sir, just I want to calculate the electric field phase distribution on this plane, sir. Only this oh, plane. Yes. Yeah, you should put, ah. you should put the, put the what, probe, sir. Probe is the best, best thing. It will so, give you uh, in space as well as in magnitude value also, so that you can calculate. Uh, and sir, uh, we are getting this uh, with this kind of results, sir. Just for example, uh, uh, this is a PGMS. That means uh, ki, uh, phase graded meta surface. That means ki if you are just moving in the x direction and y direction, just this kind of uh, phase distribution or uh, uh, plane wave illumination is is, is is showing plane wave illumination. A lot of is a lot of it. Uh, they are just carrying out a lot of analysis in this. This, this is a simple phase distribution in X and Y polarization, and this one is the also in X and Y polarization along the distance in X and Y direction. So the, the this thing I want to uh, actually I I'm done I did I, I'm not able to get these things uh, how we can create calculate from the CST. So, sir, if it is possible to demonstrate uh, this kind of uh, analysis, so please, sir, uh, tomorrow you can, the, I'm requesting you to please show us tomorrow, sir. Okay, okay, I will love to, I will love to, I will work over it, okay, sir. But this whole thing only possible to, okay, I will work. Okay, you should send actually, me. Actually, sir, uh, one thing I want to also, sir, show you something. Actually, uh, my task is that, sir, just look at in this structure, sir. Yes. Uh, just I'm zoom it. Yeah, it's visible, 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 clearly visible, sir. Sir, yes. the, each unit shall have different, different dimensions, sir. That means, uh, yeah. this yeah, is you, the, you cannot this. simulate in this unit cell, sir. Huh. So, sir, actually, uh, I have gone through the, some CST, uh, just I have uh, read some CST paper, white paper, sort of thing. So they are just resist in that paper, they suggest us to just go into the say, simulation task and just create the array. And from that array, you can, can can control the individual unit element. Just for example, I'm just considering this is the this is a simple unit cell I have designed and done the analysis. And this in a, this unit cell has a smaller dimension. So whenever I'm just getting the array structure, so it is a, I don't know how to just manage this unit cell or this unit cell in comparison to the original unit cell. Okay, okay, got it, got it, sir. Yes, sir. You, you should mail me, sir, this structure, sir. If, you, if it's possible, I think this is possible for, for you. Sir, sir to, it's already published paper, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I triple X, sir. I, I will mail you, sir. Okay, sir. You should mail me a write a question that uh, is a problem. Okay, okay, sir. 
And I will work. I'm not sure I will be able to generate this in the real bit tomorrow, day after tomorrow. But I will work. You can sir, you can sir, you can take such a simple example uh, for demonstration. Two plus two, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We just want to know the how to we can proceed for that kind of uh, question. Could, you, could, you, could you show me the 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 picture of face face or you should show me this actually in this paper, paper he doesn't it I think he did not calculate the uh, graphical representation. Uh, but in this paper, sir, this is the simple uh, uh, the title is the I triple transaction paper and. Uh, this one is the simple desired single layer production dependent transmitter on reflective focusing meta surface. So in this paper, sir, what is going there? So in this, uh, in this, sir, actually, it also varies the unit cell according to the and use the simple Vivaldi antenna as a reference uh, reference source. And just he is just this is a uh, unit uh, This is a uh, simple structure. Yes, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Yes, sir. I will mail you this paper, sir. Okay, okay, sir. You should mail me this paper. Okay, I will mail you, sir. Okay, sir. And uh, the basis that will, they are just calculating the transmission reflex phase and magnitude in the grid form, sir. Uh, I don't know, sir, okay. how. I, I got it. I got it. Why, why, why this? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. I will mail you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you sir. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Can anyone have any question? Is anybody having any question? No. So, sir, can I show you? Can I share of some picture? Uh, yes, sir. To... These are the matching issues. Here you can see that. Let me, let me, let me. Let me. Volume. I think I have to look towards your design, sir. Because without yes, looking sir. towards the design, sir, I'm unable yes, to get yes, it. Yes, I can. Okay, sir. These are the this one is the end. Here you can you, you can see this these red red spots. Yes. So is the maximum is maximum or and sorted age ratio. So what is that meaning of this one? These are the spot lines. Or well, what is the what you say mesh? Oh, mesh is there, sir. Tetra handle zero is there. Tetra no 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 no. Yes, it it's showing the tetra handle zero. Means it is not gen it is not creating the tetrahedral machine. Sir, you should increase the mesh size, sir. So I have, I have increased. I have increased. What what the dimension? What the dimension of the this it, line? This 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 track line has the dimension of two zero point two mm only. Okay, okay, then then sir, it depends on the structure. So you should choose the local machine, sir. Local machine will do it, sir. Means individual, yeah. Huh? Uh, individual, sir. You should pick uh, one structure and then you should reduce the mesh size so that each is individual. I, mesh have, done. I have done. Listen, I have done all the things. When when I joined this, I I command this section, this small small section. Yes, sir. Then it will generate. It will generate. Yes, sir. But but uh, but uh, it means uh, when we uh, command and then after that uh, we are. Uh, uh, um, editing something, then it will be difficult to us, now. Ah, yes, how sir. it will not? How, how it will not generate uh, or create the masses at this point? At, at this position, these positions means at the, without commanding the structure or without commanding well, the box. Let me put it this way: You should know the how the history works, sir. You can get back to within within one and two clicks, sir. 
Are you getting my word? I have told yeah. you you should work with history. Okay, sir. So in you should you should for for getting the a task or solution or task, we can go for it. But uh, normally it is not uh, it is not come now. Sir, so the prescribed value is that whenever you are having any connection, you should not open it. So this this connection will be having. Uh, again, it will be calculated. So once you are having a lots of metallic structure is there, you should join it, sir, and then simulate it, sir. Okay, sir. If you are not joining it, sir, then that that you you should know, sir, that uh, junction will be there, sir, always, sir. So at junction point value. Point two mm. Point two mm. And then width is too much high, no? I think. Too much point high. Two mm. Point two mm. Yes, point two mm. Then then it is too much high. It will. It is very high. What frequency, sir? It is around the uh, frequency is one hertz, one gigahertz to uh, two gigahertz. Yeah, it's quite high, sir. It's quite high, sir. So I think I think I I I, I will look. This, I will look. This 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 message comes uh, every time. These messages. Three D is global parallel configuration. The lens ratio. Uh, I have, I have also concern with the dissolved uh, Pune. Yes. What they told sir? They, they uh, means uh, my colleague also working in this uh, yes, sir, sir. Uh, dissolved Pune. Uh, she told that, uh, uh, but she told the. Uh, uh, some means uh, like commanding it and uh, and uh, increasing the messages, but she not she has not given to us a solution, a good solution. So here written sir that structure for it three component could not be added. No, no, no. One. Added, added, all are added. These, these are the. Is for this these 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 uh, sections na? This telling that is not added. These these sections, but in this uh, blue uh, color so is the lambda model, lambda element. If you mail me, you should mail me, or if it's possible, you should mail me this. Yeah. So structure actually. <laughs> okay, okay, I will say. I will mail you. Okay. Okay. Any other? Anyone have any other issues? So, Amit, what are the points uh, which are, which are, which we have given them to uh, cover? In the uh, sir, the points were thing? metamaterial simulation and analysis, graphene antenna designing, equivalent circuit modeling by CST. Yes, multiple yes. multi-objective optimization criteria. So, out of these points, uh, I think uh, uh, some only some of them have been discussed. Like uh, three of them are covered today. Sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They so have talked tomorrow, about optimization. Have I think mostly of them has been discussed, sir, because graphic. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, sir. Uh, so um, these are the topic um, yes, which we have left with me, sir. To create the uh, equivalent model of the any uh, any design or structure, how can how we can uh, uh, create equivalent model, and then second one is number of modes. Let me put it this way, sir. CST in CST there are there are. Sir, your voice not is not coming. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Yes, yes. yes sir, so, so this again. equivalent circuit modeling by CST, this is an important uh, topic. I think uh, uh, we want some clarification on these things, like how we can get the equivalent circuit model from CST of an antenna or of a filter or of an absorber. Let, let me give you an idea, sir. So CST cannot provide you the 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 equivalent circuit like you are having RLC circuit and then and the, this parallel RLC then again going further the LC RLC like the circuit cannot provide it can only provide on different
print port we have already discussed in the smith chart as well as by taking an example from as well as take uh, the what is reference impedance multiplying with reference impedance it will provide you the uh, let us suppose your port is at the, at xyz position so you are looking from that port sir so it will calculate from that port only now once you change the port by the z dash so it will certainly will change sir so it so will there be is a, uh, there is no uh, direct way to convert your design to a particular uh, No, 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 no. We have to make it. No, by... no, 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 it's not. Or, or we can, uh, uh, we can have a simple design. So, 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 can we have the uh, equivalent model of like a uh, simple transmission line or a, a simple open stub or or a simple coupled line or a, a resonator? Can we have? These no, are, no, these these are all things what you can get. get the transmission line parameter. You can get a transmission line parameter mm -hmm. between one and two port of a letter, suppose any any one. So you can get a transmission line parameter. Okay, sir. Well, this thing is available in post processing as parameter list. So you need to define oh, yes, what yes, the yes. distance between these two ports. There is, but we, it will not provide you any diagram that this is the way of doing it and this is me, the junction me, and. Me, it, 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 otherwise, it, a lot it, of paper will be. Yes. Means it 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 will not uh, give the um, uh, lambda model or lambda model element values. I think so. Like ADS gives the uh, mm, values no, of no, the. No. Means like the ADS gives na values of the lambda elements or lambda uh, uh, equivalent lambda element. Ah, lambda I don't model see that. Yes, yeah, so it, 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 but yeah. it, but it means CSC. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, also. CSC. Yeah. In CST also, you can calculate this by going to towards the post processing. As I think I have already calculated it. Can you show us? Let me let me let me show it to you. Yeah. Is my screen visible, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Nothing is. So here, RLC so, value is there, sir. No, 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 no. It's a. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. But this all value is calculated. Are the transmission line matrix as parameters are A B C D characteristic impedance effective permittivity all of these things are calculated, sir. So you can have this, this transmission line parameter. So you can easily calculate the Z C value by using this thing, and then and this whole thing will be done, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. So uh, yeah, means how we can. Arrange this the RLC combination means uh, what are the connections between RLC? We cannot predict, na? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever you are saying is absolutely right. But RLC value can be can be connected to to in a serial serial type of arrangement, sir. No, no, no. We we that is the that is the main point, na? How can we predict that it is in, it is connected in the parallel or series? So, sir, let let me give you an idea, sir. Yes, sir. Is all value is of combined structure, which is been yeah. calculated from this port and this port, the input port and the output port, and this all yeah. value are combined structures. Okay. Yes. So yes. 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 Yes
separately and then you can have an understanding of it how this all thing will be done, arranged or how this all thing will be done. so i think that that's the one of the best way of doing it this is from my side personal sense i think okay, it, will, it will, i think it will not so mm -hmm, yes i think yes, because yes. because uh, because the substrate is the uh, main role of the yeah, yes, yes, the yes, yes. Model, equivalent yes. Model. yes 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 so, so the, well there is no no it, it gives the, it, it gives uh, it actually uh, build track line yeah, yes, and and build the, so it the it equivalent quite. model and equivalent rlc it will be quite complete market so it, it can uh, can if if it if you have, if you if you have any solution then tomorrow you, you can uh, okay okay fine yes. you can because uh, i have seen lots of papers lots of paper i have seen sir but none of them yeah. has given the equivalent circuit diagram we mean you can oh, check no, no 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 in the filter the... every in the filter and the yeah. meta material everyone shows the equivalent number model everyone yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so then for filter, that that is the main main uh, task to have the uh, obligation. I think filter is filter filter. Let me go to filters. Planar filters also in the planar filter all the and the S I W based filter. Yeah, S I W filter. These all things. All all are having the all are all are having the. Uh, equivalent number model also to um, publish the um, paper. So, sir, for tomorrow we have uh, two, two, three points uh, like uh, to explain or the things. Number first one is the number of modes in the source of the yes. material uh, solution. Yes, okay. What is the meaning of the number of modes? And uh, and second one is the absorbity of the material. Yes. These two, and third one is uh, the uh, many search um, queries yes, uh, for the getting the uh, array yes. or phase phase distribution across the or two D across the design in the two D plane. So, so if 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 you, if you have any any idea, so please. Yes. Sure, Explain sure. tomorrow. Yes, I sure. Okay. Sir, sure. Okay, sir. For today, I think anyone, no one have the doubt. Anyone have the doubt? Sir, so, sir, uh, yes, sir. Today, so today, no one have the doubt. Amit. Yes, sir. I think uh, we can close the session for today now. Uh, yes, yes, sir. So please, please. please. Please uh, give to the phone and give uh, give a vote of thanks to um, Rahul sir. Okay, thank you Rahul sir uh, for the clarification and uh, presentation of the uh, CST and uh, related uh, uh, possibilities of designing. And uh, thanks for the clarification also from of many of the questions we asked from you. Uh, do we do still have some doubts and if, for that purpose only we have the day of tomorrow the second day of the workshop yes cst webinar anybody else is having questions related to cst and its uh, uh, antenna designing or any other kind of designing like filters and eveg structures also that portion of also uh, of uh, our uh, uh, objective is also going to be covered tomorrow so please uh, join yeah. the same by the same link uh, for tomorrow's session uh, and thank you for joining for today's session thank, thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you thank so you. much sir thank you very much. yes okay.